Hello, good afternoon, everyone. The time is now two o'clock, so we will go ahead and get started with today's webinar. Uh, first and foremost, thank you all for joining us. We hope that you and your loved ones are healthy and safe, and we appreciate you taking the time to uh, spend some time with us today. Good afternoon, everyone. As Trevor said, thanks for joining uh, and or listening and taking the time out of the day to do so. Uh, this is Brandon speaking. Uh, myself, along with Trevor, will be hosting today's webinar. Uh, Trevor and I are both sales executives on the tribal government team here at Navient. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have actually spoken to Trevor or myself. Um, and then a quick, quick housekeeping note, everyone uh, will be on mute. If you have any questions, feel free to send uh, through the chat. So, most of you are already familiar. Navient is the leader in enterprise content management and business process management. Uh, we are Highland's largest value added reseller partner. Uh, we have actually earned the award of a diamond platinum partner for the categories of support as well as growth and sales. Uh, we began working with uh, tribal nations uh, actually about 17 years ago. Uh, since then, we are the only partner actually of Highland with a dedicated tribal practice, uh, thus working with and supporting tribal nations all across the continent. Um, and it, we have actually uh, even worked with Highland to develop pre-established discounts for tribal governments, uh, which we'll touch on a little bit later. Um, our global office is in Madison, Wisconsin, with regional sales and support locations across the country, uh, which include Cle Cleveland, Minneapolis, Salt Lake City, Denver, Atlanta, Buffalo, Sacramento, and Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So today, uh, Trevor is going to provide an overview of OnBase, what it is, how it's used, and how you can leverage it within your organization and community. Um, he'll touch on affordable starting points, which will include document and content management, HR, AP, contracts and grants management, land management, as it incorporates with Esri GIS. And then I'll uh, touch on the Tribal Nation pricing bundle, and then uh, the resources that are available to you as customers and or anyone who may be thinking of implementing OnBase. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll turn it over to Trevor. Thank you very much, Brandon. So we originally put this webinar together focusing on the important objectives for tribal nations to complete tasks faster with more efficiency and accuracy, to automate those labor-intensive manual paper-based processes that slow us down, and to overall improve the community member experience. And then a worldwide incident occurred and the old objectives haven't gone away, but new priorities have expanded our new normal and what that may look like uh, is still to be seen, but we do know that it will be new. So these priorities aren't just during a crisis, but they have created a new expectations of day forward tribal business operations, like rapidly deploying telework and remote workers, um, ensuring that you have business continuity, um, access to real time information for our community members, and complete shift to a digital government, remote collaboration, and a migration to the cloud. So the beautiful thing is that OnBase is a perfect tool to help your organization accomplish everything I just mentioned and more. OnBase is an industry-leading enterprise content services platform with the widest range of content services available, including industry-leading capture tools, case management capabilities, enterprise document management capabilities, a very powerful business process management engine called Workflow, collaboration tools, and industry-leading intelligent optical character recognition capabilities, and many more. And what separates OnBase from the other platforms is that this is all on one single code set, so one single database that is highly configurable, highly integratable, uh, and, and highly scalable. So as we are faced with this global pandemic, all of us are encountering a new normal, as I mentioned. And it's never been more critical to modernize our infrastructure to ensure that business continuity and disaster recovery. And technology is proving to be a critical uh, role in this response to this current pandemic. So moving forward, the excuse for not having the right technologies in place will be unacceptable. So as a truly enterprise solution, OnBase capabilities can be leveraged across many areas and departments. And today we'll be highlighting a couple of the main areas, um, some affordable starting uh, points. But as you can see, the OnBase capabilities can extend into any department or any area in the tribal nation, anywhere where you have content, documents, or processes to be managed, OnBase can help. So again, today we'll highlight a number 
from affordable and valuable starting points. As I mentioned together, we're all experiencing this shift into a new way of working. And, and again, we're not sure what that new normal will look like. But one thing I think many of us have experienced during this is that we still have way too many information silos that exist for way too many of us. And moving forward, it will be critical to eliminate those data silos to really ensure that departments and the organization as a whole has enhanced business continuity. So we typically work in an iterative uh, project. So here's an example of Oneida Nation. They have approximately 15,000 tribal members across 60 locations, and they chose OnBase to change the way they do business, as they put it. And the tribe first began, began using OnBase in 2005, as you can see, focusing on land management. And through the years, they have progressed through grants management, accounts payable, gaming, cultural heritage, human resources, healthcare, agenda management, and many more. And they currently have about a thousand users across more than 30 departments. So everything that we're gonna talk about today is available for both on-premise uh, or the Highland Cloud. So even if you're a premise-based customer today, in light of recent events uh, and business continuity planning for the future, we've had a number of customers interested in exploring migrating their existing premise-based environment to the cloud. And as we've touched on, having a cloud-based system enables your organization to access information from anywhere, which is no longer a nice to have, but becoming more of a necessity. So at its core, OnBase helps you better manage all of your content, emails, files, folders, documents, videos, images, etc. All of the organization's content, all from one single hub. And OnBase allows you to take all of your unstructured and disparate content and data and bring it into a structured environment and make it easily accessible through applications that you are already using today. So a nice way to think of OnBase is a core foundational base layer of your organization on which you can build everything else. So think about it like the first Lego, if you will, on which you can construct and build and integrate with your existing line of business applications to bring together all of your structured and unstructured content. Again, by seamlessly immigrating with your ERP application or your human capital management system System, with Outlook, with Office, et cetera. And as we all reassess our entire IT portfolio to ensure our sustainability and future success, rebuilding with OnBase as a core foundational layer will equip organizations with the tools necessary again, for a modern, digital, scalable platform that enhances business continuity. So to begin, it's important to think about how the data comes into our organization and when and how we capture that information. So regardless of the format it comes into the organization, whether paper, emails, through line of business applications, et cetera, OnBase has a method of capturing and ingesting that data into the OnBase system, whether it's scanning paper, importing electronic documents, or submitting e-forms. And once we have captured that data into our system, OnBase has tools to help drive efficiencies through automated routing of information. I mentioned that OnBase has a very powerful business process management engine called Workflow that enables process automation. And a number of the great starting points that we'll cover here today will have a, a, a workflow component to it. So I wanna briefly cover the basics of workflow before proceeding in, into some of those departmental specific uh, starting points of OnBase. So workflow focuses on the movement of items and tasks through a process with the goal to increase efficiency. This can include automated entry into a workflow queue, automated evaluations, controlled decision making, and things like approvals, escalations, and timers. So in a traditional workflow project, the end-to-end -end business process is completely mapped out to automate as much as possible and create the most value. This can be very valuable, but depending on timing, resources, budget, or a global pandemic, this approach may not always be practical. Alternatively, workflow micro applications focus on a single task and targets problems with a small, quick, simple solution. So the magic is really in simplicity because these can be built out in a day. And the goal here is to, is to bring is to focus on one thing to do it well and create immediate value. And this enables you to continuously build out workflows and continuously create, create efficiencies throughout the organization. Some, exa some examples may include notifications or, or approvals or com completing electronic form or updating keywords. And there's many more applications. So let's jump into the first of many great starting points and start with an, an area that everyone can relate to, which is human resources. Like many departments, human resources is challenged with lots of documents, 
stored in many different locations with manual paper-based processes that require you know security and compliance and reporting so whether it's physical filing cabinets or a collection of files and folders on a network drive the challenges largely remain the same there's lack of visibility lack of security difficulty in finding the right information in an efficient manner and those are just some of the organizations some of the issues that we face as an as an organization so we could peel back the layers even within hr and we could see that there's so many areas in hr that have common issues and again the far-reaching capabilities of the on-base platform enables you to better control and manage the content and data in so many different ways from employee file management to records management policies and procedures performance reviews recruiting and onboarding onbase can help digitize and and automate all of this so recall a few slides back where we covered how we are capturing data and getting it into onbase well, once that data is in OnBase, we can organize and apply search taxonomy to organize our content by document type and keyword, and this is based on security permissions. And OnBase provides the option to create virtual folders and filing, filing cabinets, which is typical in HR, legal, or healthcare, and other areas where physical folders are the norm. So we can simply replicate these stacks of paper and all those filing cabinets digitally and this is not a module of OnBase this is core OnBase functionality. So OnBase can also help you uh, recognize when you are missing a file that you should have so as we're talking about HR a very common use of files and folders you know to house documents related to an employee for example once an HR filing cabinet is configured OnBase knows what documents should be in each folder and they'll notify you when you're missing a document in this case we can see that we're missing a W4. So we have experienced the frustration and the inability to quickly and easily locate information that we are looking for. So after we have gotten our data into OnBase, we've categorized it and organized it, OnBase has a number of tools to enable you to quickly and easily find the information you're looking for. Full text search is one of those tools. Full text search reduces the search time by narrowing results to a manageable set and allows you to full uh, full text search a variety of content so not just text but images emails pdfs microsoft office files electronic forms um, and this minimizes index requirements by making all text searchable and provides the searchability of misindexed or under indexed documents from a back file conversion so full text search is extremely scalable and highly performing and enables you to quickly and easily uh, navigate and search large volumes of documents so here's an example of an on-base full text search screenshot. And on-base allows you to search in a variety of ways like fuzzy um, or Boolean search. So you don't have to be exact in what you're looking for to be able to quickly find the information you're looking for. And the search crawls across the entire database and returns a hit list with probability score to help you quickly identify the information you are looking for. As you can see, the results from our search for a sales position generated this list and John Mallory brought back a hit score of 90.27. With one click, we can drill in to John's resume. And as you can see, search highlighting appears on return documents, again, allowing you to quickly and easily locate the information you're looking for. So there's no need to uh, no longer read through an entire document searching for that one sentence that you may need. And we can even extend this uh, to our line of business applications and search for information contained in our line of business applications. So OnBase has a module called Application Enabler that allows you to search content contained within your currently used line of business app. So using something as simple as a floating tile, we can be in our human capital management system and OnBase can identify related documents in a database. With one click, we can open up and see those related documents. And then with one more click, we can simply view the document that we'd like to view. Microsoft Outlook integration provides a ribbon bar in Outlook. And this allows you to perform that same search functionality without having to leave your Outlook screen. And as most of us are typically living in our Outlook, this integration really provides enhanced efficiency by eliminating screen and app application switching. And this allows us to surface the same content again without having to leave the comfort of our Outlook inbox that most of us spend uh, quite a bit of time in. And again, we can surface that exact same content again directly from that ribbon bar. So many of the capabilities that we reviewed with HR can be applied to accounts payable as well. In fact, finance, just like HR, has many common uses for, for OnBase. So if we peel back the layers and see 
all the different areas within finance that OnBase can address, like AP, HR, uh, uh, AR, excuse me, procurement, vendor management. Now today we're just going to focus on AP, but hopefully this again gets you to think about the far rate reaching capabilities of OnBase and the many areas within finance, for example, that OnBase can help streamline. So when we think about accounts payable automation, we typically find customers with these three common stages of automation. Phase one consisting of primarily manual processes, so paper forms, manual routing of information for approval, manual scanning into ERPs, manual review, and manual data entry. Phase two, as I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, you know, ideally we're trying to capture this information and getting it on base as soon as possible. So in phase two, what we can do is take the email or paper copy of an invoice, capture the information right away, either electronically importing or by scanning a paper copy. Once we have it in OnBase, we can apply workflow to automate the routing of information to the correct reviewer via a schedule of authority and a rules engine to really automate the approvals process. Now, stage two does introduce a lot of automation, but still requires some manual data entry for exception handling as an example. But, but again, workflow really sig um, significantly reduces the manual routing and the manual approval. So we look at phase three, we're adding in intelligent optical character recognition to automate as much as possible. Again, we're capturing this data as quickly as possible. And once it's in our on-base system, you know, we use industry leading intelligent optical character rec recognition tool, it's called Brainware, to automatically extract the data. And then on-base performs an automatic three-way match, validating information with data contained in our other line of business applications and automatically routing it for approval. This level of automation enables you to automate the vast majority of invoice approvals. And this takes you from a situation where you are manually reviewing and approving all invoices to you really only manually handling the exception invoices. So similar to HR, I mentioned a module called Application Enabler. So using this module, we could be in our finance application, whether it's PeopleSoft or Tyler or Cassell, et cetera, and quickly retrieve content in OnBase that is related to the transaction without having to switch applications. As you can see, we are in our ERP system looking at PO797, and OnBase recognizes that we have related documents in our database. So with one click, we can open up and see those related documents, and then just another click, we can drill in and view the related document closer. Once we are viewing a document, OnBase also provides us with the ability to view a full history of the document. So who did what with a document, what did they do with it, and at what time. And allows us to see the workflow queue so we can see the process and the flows and the different workflow queues um, that an invoice has taken. Again, the Outlook integration allows us to receive notifications of invoices or related actions right from the inbox. Again, this really increases the efficiency by allowing you to complete these tasks right from the Outlook integration, uh, allowing you to approve, reject, view documents, uh, and even go ahead with GL coding, again, right from your Outlook inbox. And with OnBase, we can extend all of this functionality to a mobile device. So we can allow people to approve or take action on an invoice regardless of where they are in the world. And so we've all been affected by the current COVID-19 pandemic. I think we've all realized the importance of remote connectivity and the ability to complete tasks from a mobile device to, to ensure that business continuity. So OnBase enables you to take your, your, remote, your work remotely, excuse me, and efficiently and effectively perform these tasks from anywhere. So as you can see, using workflow, we can drill in and see a PO um, for an invoice 5330. With another click, we can drill in and see the details of that invoice. Another click takes us to see a, a picture, an image of that actual invoice. From there, we can do our GL coding and we can uh, execute the tasks that are uh, appropriate, whether it's sending on to an exception reviewer or approving. And with this high level administrative look at your personal page, uh, you, this really provides you with real time dynamic information about the various review queues. So this allows you to get a quick snapshot of the status of invoices uh, and related documents. So again, this is all real time information and, and gives you a good administrative look of where things sit in their processes. 
Onbase has some fantastic reporting capabilities. Reporting dashboards offers intuitive, real-time, dynamic dashboards. This is different than a static point-in-time report. So these dashboards use real-time information and will continuously update as information moves through various uh, stages of view. It provides a variety of different type of customizable reports like bar charts or graphs or pie charts, et cetera. And again, this allows you to obtain real-time information in order to quickly and easily identify bottlenecks in the approval cycle. So transitioning to contract management is another fantastic uh, affordable starting point uh, in OnBase. OnBase contract management helps organizations reduce the average time uh, of working on a contract request from hours down to minutes. So in addition to a central secure location to store all contract documents, OnBase contract management provides tools to manage the creation, review, distribution, and renewal of contracts to really centralize access to all contract related information, automate contract routing, reviews, and required tasks, and really accelerate information, uh, um, implementation timeframes and user adoption. So the OnBase contract management is easy to deploy and easy to set up and it manages the request through a single robust tool set and provides end-to-end -end complete management of a contract lifestyle, including authoring through the ne negotiation and collaboration to the execution, uh, the expiration, renewal, and, and the amendments. So using OnBase is really easy is on-base contract requests are simple to initiate using a clean and easy to use form. Here's a look at the entire process dashboard and what it looks like you know from the start of the contract process. The contract management administration panel uh, displays this contract lifestyle in an easily viewable layout that allows you to quickly and easily view the status of a contract, the next milestone, or what the next step may be. And contract administrators have the ability to configure changes to workflow logic based on the type of contract using a rules engine. This increases the speed in which contracts are routed and approved. Different contracts or agreements can take different paths of routing and approval. So sending the right information to the right people at the right time to really increase the speed and the efficiency of contracts. For those business areas that require tracking of individual clauses, organizations can leverage the clause library management tool set. So legal teams and contract administrators have the power to load individual clauses for use in the contract generation. Um, and, and this tool set allows users to quickly build and modify contracts with pre-filled and approved contract clauses. And any clause changes will route through a review process to ensure that compliance and legal agreement. The clause library will pre Prefill the approved clauses when the users generate contracts. And as users change these clauses, those items will route through a review process to again ensure compliance and a legal agreement before the integration to the new contract to help ensure compliance and continuity. And then on-base reporting capabilities enables you to view the status of your, of your contracts in a different way. These real-time dynamic reporting capabilities allow you to see exactly where each contract sits and if there are bottlenecks in any certain departments or areas, again, to really help streamline the entire contract process. Now, transitioning from contracts to another area that is especially important to tribal nations is grant management. This is very similar to contracts. The on-base grants management solution allows you to centrally manage the grant proposal, approval, and review process. So once a grant opportunity is identified and a proposal to apply for the grant is initiated, OnBase expedites internal reviews by automatically routing the initial drafts of the appropriate parties, even committees, uh, and provides an opportunity for both multiple levels of and parallel reviews to keep processes moving and, and help meet aggressive deadlines. Additionally, staff can easily manage post-award reporting with the solution's robust reporting capabilities. This really speeds the review of proposal drafts, again, by routing to multiple departments for simultaneous review, provides great visibility into the, um, the principal investigators and grant directors, and sends timely reminders based on grant deadlines, and, and it signs and tracks grants with cost share or matching cost calculations for multiple departments. It truly is a great tool. And finally, on-base land management is a great tool within on-base, and land management is often a critical aspect uh, for many tribal nations. 
OnBase and Esri gives users access to OnBase content they need directly from the maps they use every day. This integration further leverages both the OnBase and Esri investments by exposing OnBase documents to users who primarily work in Esri map applications. This really increases user productivity by reducing application switching um, and delays associated um, the, and the delays associated with searching of multiple systems for related content, really accelerates decision making and overall improves customer service by providing a self-service access to documents on the map. So really reducing the request time you know, from, from days down to a matter of seconds. So documents related to a map location can be retrieved directly from uh, Esri with a click. So this eliminates that inefficient application switching that I just mentioned. And users can upload documents and create forms directly from the map. So you can automatically index them with a map featuring metadata. So OnBase users can display these documents on an Esri map, and this helps with improved decision making based on location information with point and click configuration utility this out-of-the-box solution really can be rapidly implemented um, without the cost of custom coding. So we could be in Esri and want to view any related documents to this particular parcel of land. Maybe uh, it's a planning of land management here. Uh, so we can click on a parcel to show the related documents. And beyond viewing documents with the on-base functionality, you can retrieve, uh, import, attach, and create forms. So there's more than just viewing documents with this integration. And by plotting documents on a map, users can really improve the decision making based on location information. Again, this is all in an effort to, to really increase efficiency and, and provide a better service to our, our users and our community members as a whole. So I know that was a lot. I am going to hand it back over to Brandon to cover some of the great resources that we have uh, at Navient um, and some of our upcoming events. Yeah, so next we'll uh, talk about the resources available. Um, one of them being uh, the tribal value pricing model, uh, which provides pre-established discounts for tribal communities with populations of 250,000 or less. Uh, and as stated, we have worked closely with Highland to put this together. Uh, the bundle uh, shown above is what we've identified as what we call critical components uh, to get uh, organizations up and running with the functionality of OnBase that Trevor shown the prior. And as it states, the discount level for the communities of less than 250,000 are roughly 70% or more off of, on, uh, on basis standard pricing. Uh, next would be our resources page located at Navient.com, uh, which essentially is a hub of information where we have links to find case studies, video testimonials, solution summaries regarding modules and specifics of OnBase, white pages and other marketing material, and links to webinars, as well as our annual customer summit, and other trade shows events that we'll be attending, which include the TribalNet conference and trade show. Uh, Navient is a proud member and sponsor of TribalNet. Uh, we sponsor and attend the TribalNet conference slash trade show every year. Uh, I know that we've met a lot of attendees uh, actually on this call uh, in the past at these. Uh, it's a great opportunity to meet and chat firsthand with members of uh, our technical team, as well as our executive team. We will be attending this year again. And the dates are November 9th through 12th at the Gaylord Texan Resort in, uh, just outside of Dallas. And then the last resource we'll cover is our annual customer summit. Uh, we've been hosting a summit since uh, 2003, and it's an opportunity uh, for Navient prospects, customers, uh, on-base experts, process consultants, and uh, whether people new to enterprise information management can uh, really meet, discuss, explore uh, solutions for their current business processes and then the challenges that they're facing. Uh, it's a good opportunity to pick the brain of the Navient folks, on-base experts, and just overall network with peers uh, facing those same challenges, but also implementing the solutions that we'll cover today. It's a two-day educational document management conference that focuses on customer case studies, breakout sessions, industry roundtables, others uh, hand-on um, Highland on-base training, an executive forum, uh, plenty of networking, again, designed to help you improve the effectiveness of your organization. It is free, and then this year, you, as you can see, it is at Lambeau Field, home of the Green Bay Packers, located in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, it's October 12th and 13th. Uh, we'll send out more information as, as we get closer, um, but again, it, information can be found uh, at Navient.com under the resource tab. Uh, and then with that, I don't know if Trevor has any questions that came through uh, through the chat function, but if not, on behalf of Navient, myself and Trevor, we wanted to thank you for your time and attention. 
uh, please certainly reach out to Trevor and myself with any questions or requests. Our email addresses are shown on the screen, and we certainly look forward to getting in touch. Uh, Trevor, uh, back to you if there's anything else to add. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, we haven't seen any questions uh, come through uh, the chat box here, but as Brandon just mentioned, uh, if you have any questions or would like to um, have discussions about anything that you saw here today, please feel free to reach out to Brandon or myself at any time. Uh, but again, thank you so much for your time today. We hope that you all remain healthy uh, and safe, and we look forward to the opportunity to speak with you in the near future.